So today I'll be talking on this topic uh, of obstetric emergency, amniotic fluid embolism and pulmonary thromboembolism. So this talk I gave in uh, one of the obstetric conference in June 2018. So with regards to amniotic fluid embolism, we know it is a disastrous condition. So it was first recognized in 1926 by a person called Mayer and it was first reported in 1941. So I think the data from all these western countries mainly the UK, Australia and USA so the occurrence rate is found to be 2 per 100,000 deliveries and it is one of the five leading cause of direct maternal death. And one, another study I think Fratti et al uh, he noted the occurrence rate of 5.5 per 100,000 deliveries. So if you look at the mortality rate, so these are the two studies that came from Italian group. Fratti et al reported a case fatality rate of 24.8% when they have amniotic fluid embolism. So the Busardo et al, so the case fatality rate was around 12.8% and the range was 47 to 24.3%. So what are the risk factors for amniotic fluid embolism? So I think these risk factors seem to be similar to many other complications that occur during postpartum period or uh, any other event that would threaten pregnancy. So any elderly preemie age more than 35 years is a risk factor or multiparous uh, pregnancy is a risk factor, patients with preeclampsia is a risk factor and if you look at the uterine causes any uterine pathology like uterine rupture or placenta previa or abrupt show placenta can be the risk factor for amniotic fluid embolism and it has been found that a male child also the gender of the child can have a bearing on amniotic fluid embolism or patients with any cervical tear so they are at a risk for amniotic fluid embolism or instrumentation so if you are doing any instrumentation that also is a risk factor or if there is any circulate removal at the cervix so I think that also can be the risk factor so these are some of the obstetric risk factors which are associated with amniotic fluid embolism. So what is the pathogenesis of uh, amniotic flu fluid embolism? So the main pathogenesis is the exposure of maternal circulation to the amniotic fluid. I think that remains the uh, primordial reason when the whole activation of inflammatory cascade sets in. So when the amniotic fluid gets exposed to the maternal circulation that's when the whole inflammation sets in. So the primordial pathogenesis or pathophysiological mechanism is exposure of this maternal circulation to the amniotic fluid and fetal antigens. So when there is an exposure of this maternal circulation. Oh.